uh, why do people think that if you read Muhammad ibn Ab- Abdul Wahab rahimullah, his books, that you are misguided? Uh, that's the third question. What about the second? Well, the second uh, was about innovation, but you already uh, answered it. In, uh, okay, the good. So why would anyone consider reading the books of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab a misguidance? Very simple. You are ignorant of what you don't know. So if you ask anyone who tells you, ah, you've studied the books of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab, you're misguided. Say to them, I can agree with that on one condition. Tell me, where is the misguidance in his books? He will tell you, ah, because you will become extremist, you will become a fundamentalist, you will become a jihadi, you will kill people, you will give takfir to people. How do you know that? The I heard people say that. MashaAllah, tabarakallah. Have you ever read any of his books? No, I don't have to. People talk. Excuse me. Have you or haven't you? Sorry, I haven't. Then how can you judge me who have read his books, learned a lot of them, just based on what people say? This is total ignorance. So you don't have to respond to ignorant people. When people come and say to your face, and by the way, they came, they used to come to me and say this a lot. Especially haters. When they say, oh, Sheikh Hassan, you're an ass. Should I be angry? No. I say, I say to them, true, this is my name, ass, I am. This is how they spell my name, ass, I am. So when people come and say, you're an ass, does this mean I'm going to grow two ears and a tail? No. Let them say whatever they want. Good people say good words. Bad people say bad words. I'm not going to be affected by that. So those who criticize, those who speak ill about the books of Imam Muhammad and Abdul Wahab are one of two. Either a deviant Shia or a deviant Sufi. There's no third. Why? Because the books of Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab speak about Aqidah, about returning people to Sunnah, about purifying our beliefs from innovations. And this is what the Shia and the Sufis thrive on. This is how they live. And They cannot keep their congregation, their followers. They cannot use them and buy them and utilize what they have if they started to read the books of Muhammad and Abdul Hab, which basically are Quran and Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf. So I hope this answers your question. 